fortunate to know you, babe Why I've been busy running these streets You make sure your home is straight Filming Hi guys, it's me, my name is Karina and I'm Swatch Queen just like in a microphone, which is just not what I'm supposed to do. It's been a while since I made a video. I've been trying to record this video. Yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Please tune in. Hi to my friend Amy who requested this video. I hope you like it, Amy. And I hope you have the Jacqueline Morphe palette. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And also leave me a comment. Just say hi. Where is everybody from? What else do you guys want to see next in my channel? Thank you so much. And let's have fun with makeup. Okay, so guys, I didn't take off my eyebrows. And just leave it like that. Tatcha. Like this one. This primer. I noticed that my skin, this coloration around the mouth, and it's getting better. Also, the pigment from my dried pimple acne marks they got in so much better brand new you know there's nothing like brand new stuff when you put it so fresh <laughs> okay making everything smooth and ready for my foundation next is I'm going to take my Huda Beauty this is in Kofi 420 G I'm just gonna pump one like full pump and then I stamp it all over my this one is my summertime foundation so that's one layer I want to put another layer only when I'm filming I'm snatched like I'm going to the ball okay so this is the foundation looking good next is the NARS radiant concealer I thought this was empty already and I can't get any concealer out of the tube anymore I realized like there's more concealer on the, in the bottom of the tube that stopper here like the black stopper right on top here I took that off with a long nose and I got more concealer it's like crazy brand new concealer so if you have a concealer tube that you guys think it's already done just take off that stop so I'm gonna, just gonna blend it with my beauty blender looking good I'm gonna put it up here I do my nose last so concealer is almost dry not too dry but almost dry that it gives an, a contour on my nose concealer is done what I do is like I set the concealer I set my face Huda Beauty easy bake Press it to set so your makeup, your foundation, and your cream does not move anywhere else. You know, when you get oily and your foundation grows around, it means you didn't set your face with powder. Whatever is, remain whatever is remaining on the puff, I just press it on my face. <laughs> That's my stomach. Oh my god. For my eyebrows, I'm not gonna do anything hard. I'm just gonna shade some area. I'm just gonna shape it. So this new eyebrow contour pro, it's from Benefit. And I like it. It's a four in one. The lighter shade I put it in front. The only thing that's missing is a spoolie. Yep. If it had a spoolie somewhere here, maybe. So now I'm going to use the highlight. What it does is like it hides away those little hair that like my eyebrows from plucking. I pluck. I always pluck since like sixth grade. And I used to pluck everybody's eyebrows. Not everybody, but most of my classmates in sixth grade. I was like doing everybody's eyebrows in my class. It's crazy. Take the excess powder from baking so i'm gonna use my kkw beauty it's in the medium shade this one and this one they're highlighters and i think they're bad they're supposed to go underneath or highlight that didn't work so what i'm gonna do is like take this dark shade like it's a contour number two if i'm not mistaken and put it um as a contour it's like temples forehead i want a smaller forehead contour my cheeks just under the cheekbone like hollow like that's where I want to contour and the jawline here 
to define it. Never drag it down. Then I take the contour number one on my contour to make it soft looking. So I just put it everywhere. <laughs> Did I go too much? What I do next is I get a buffing concealer brush. It's like a flat, take the dark contour and then contour my nose. Like I imagine a line in front and how thin I want my nose would look like. Put the shadow and then blend it. There you go. That's another side. If I want it smaller, I go more closer make them closer to each other. After that, I want to do my highlight. I'm using the KKW Highlight Palette and I'm gonna peach number two. I want to highlight my chin too, just a little bit. My nose. And then I'll like going up a little bit, just a little bit here, giving that illusion that there's light right on my forehead. So I want to get my Beauty Blender bottom part, but bounce it setting there the dot this is the hourglass uh, this is the ambient light the trio you just put like this it's the bronzer and then i put it everywhere that's a really good one put lights on your face i forgot to highlight my okay can you guys see the difference my shoulder this one doesn't shine that much okay well, let's begin our eyes for today i'm going to use the jacqueline hill morphe the vault palette and this one is the dark magic this is my favorite palette of the vault used it maybe five times now some of the shadows are patchy and hard to blend especially the dark green ones and the green day i'm going to use four shadows i'm gonna use mac paint pot soft ochre to prime my lids <laughs> I'm just gonna get a fluffy blending crease brush like the MAC 2 to 4. This is from Amazon. So cheap. First shadow, I'm going to get this as my transition. Transition shade. I can never pronounce that word. Windshield wiper motion. Is that what they call it on YouTube? Just keep blending, guys. I'm going to concentrate more on the outer. Put it closer to my eyebrows. Is that better? The other eye. Okay, so that's our transition shade. Next, I'm gonna go to blending brush. I got this from Amazon too. I already used it with this same shadow. This is like 217 from now. Next color, I'm going to use mojo beautiful dark brown shadow outer here i'm gonna create a v like one two yep just like this and then drag it up then i'm gonna start dragging it to my inner corner and slowly drag it up blending Take a small amount of pigment in your brush rather than a lot. It's easier to work little by little than putting a lot. Then you can't take it back. Got a little bit of fallout. So just a bit of fluffy brush. Just sweep it up and it's gone. Driving me crazy this eyeshadow, eye, eyebrow. Let me just do this, brush it up. I have psoriasis right here, right this part of my eyebrow so my hair is all sticking up let me know what you guys want to see next i think i'm filming kim kardashian's new ultra beam i got the bundle for the powder i never used the lip gloss so i didn't buy the lip gloss okay i'm gonna go back to mojo again do the other eye okay next is this brush, I got this from Amazon too. It's like crazy cheap. I'm gonna get the diversion. Pack my brush and put it all over my lid. It's like cutting crease without the concealer. 
I have hooded eye. I made this illusion that I have bigger eye. Cut crease, but I don't put the concealer instead. I just create a 3D effect. That's good. I have a little bit of fallout. So I'll take care of it. Now we're going to another color. Power cut flat brush. I'll put it just right at the center for I'll work it going towards the inner corner. And then I'll get more power cut and go right in the corner of my eye. I'll move you closer. And then I'll put um, some underneath here too. And then I'll get the, the brush that we use for diversion. Get a little bit of diversion and mojo. Blend it. Smoke it under my lash line. I still do that ugly face. Do that face. It's so ugly. I'll put more mojo. Yeah, that's pretty. And then get more of the diversion and put it in the center. Next is I'm going to tight line. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Dark Side eyeliner. It's a waterproof eyeliner. After the eyeliner, I'm going to put the liquid eyeliner for a waterproof, colorful, wink it felt liner. I'm just gonna put really thin eyeliner. Just a small wing. Add a little drama, connecting it to the lower lash. So yeah, I'll do the next one. I think that's good. Next, I'm going to put um, mascara. Today, I'm going to use the Tarte Gifted Mascara. When I got this, I didn't really know what to think. I didn't read any reviews. I just got it. I loved it ever since I used it. It was just a lucky pick to try out. I have two of them now. If I had shorter lashes, I would love fake lashes, you know? But sometimes my lashes are longer than the fake ones. Most of the time, the lashes are just too big for my eyes. If I go for a makeup look that I want my eyes bigger, I would use false lashes, but that's not the case today. I want to show you guys like a nat everyday wearable eyeshadow look from the Jacqueline Hale The Vault palette. You can tone it down totally. I just always go extra. Every time I film, it's like I have big lashes. Those are real lashes. And then I'm gonna get my lower lashes. And my voice is gone. I don't know, something is wrong with my microphone. It's new and I'm still trying and testing these gadgets. Anyway, I'm using the sleek um, suede blush right here. And also I'm using the Japonesque number three blush. This is, these are peach blush. One is very cool tone and this one is warm. And then after that, I'm using the Morphe setting spray. After that, I'm using the fan. I got this, um, trick from Jacqueline Hill and then I'm using my highlighter again just whatever is left on my brush I'm using it and then again I'm going to set my face with uh, Morphe I'm very impressed with this setting spray I love it and then fan my face again yeah I did that twice for my lips I'm going to use the strip down from MAC I haven't gotten the KKW Beauty number two lip liner yet so I'm waiting for that in the mail today. And then I'm using the KKW Beauty. This is the Classic K lipstick from Mario and KKW Beauty collaboration. So I'm only using two lip products. That's it. This is it. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and also leave a comment. Just say hi, please. That was one hell of a party. Waking back then, I'm riding it. Don't ask in the morning. Have a great day. See you on my next video. Bye, guys.